Hey everybody, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric, thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up guys? So, welcome to your readings for the month of November 2018. Uh, happy Thanksgiving to all of us here in the United States. Um, happy holidays. We are approaching the holiday season, guys. The year is almost over. Where the hell did the time go? I don't know. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, if you are interested in a private reading with me, I am available for those. Um, the readings that I offer are found in the description box below, along with my email. Just go ahead and read through those and uh, pick whichever one you'd like and let me know and we can move forward. If you cannot decide, feel free to email me and we'll chat a little bit about what you would like to achieve with the reading and I will help you pick out the best format to suit your needs. Yeah, If you are in the New York City area, I recommend that you come down and see me, honey, <laughs> every Monday at Om Shanti Bookshop from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. The website for Om Shanti can be found in the description box. Uh, you can go to the website and find their number there. If you would like to book a reading in advance instead of just like showing up at that moment, you are more than welcome to do so. You can do that with me or any other reader that is available at the shop. Just give them a call, tell them when you would like to come in, at what time, and we will get you set up. Yeah? So, true to form, I am working with the Golden Universal Tarot. Ace of Wands. The Golden Universal Tarot uh, for the readings. And then I will be closing the reading with some guidance from the Unicorn Oracle. Yeah? All right, guys. So I, I guess that's it. So I guess we should just get to it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it, guys. Hello, Virgo. Welcome to your reading for the month of November 2018. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's get to it. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best message for Virgo for the month of November 2018 to serve the highest good of all involved. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Virgo, so I'm seeing yellow. You are driven right now. You're really going for something. And that's great. Good for you. But you're, it's like you're focused. You're very focused on... You might be very focused on work right now. Um, just focused on you and achieving your goals. That's excellent. I feel like, for some reason, I feel like Scorpio season is really influencing that for you. Um, Scorpio season might have uncovered something for you, helped you realize something, and now that's got you off on your way. All right, Virgo. One more shuffle for you. And then we'll get into it. All right. Okay, Virgo. Let's see what we've got for you here. Overall energy. We're starting you off with temperance. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. But this is balance here. So, um... You could be in a period of balance. Um, you may need to employ some patience here. But I feel like for those of you that are resonating with the part of the message of like you're really driven towards something, this is because of a greater balance that you've adopted. Okay. Ooh, you've got the Six of Cups. So something from the past might be coming back. You could be connecting with a new soulmate. Someone from a past life also. You do have the tower here, and you've got the emperor, okay? So, yeah, okay, so the tower is talking about that energy, that realization that I was picking up on that has brought some greater balance towards you. Um, you could be embarking on something or going after something that you may have um, really wanted to do in the past, but you never got around to it. It could be something from your childhood that you had a dream of, and now you're actually getting to it. Um, you could also be connecting with a soulmate here um, that's really changing the game for you, all right? And with the emperor, that could be that, ma it could be a masculine energy um, that's coming in towards you that 
is really stable, really grounded, and is really about commitment and is about business. Like he means business, he or she. Um, also though, the emperor energy could be you, and now you could be connected with an Aries, um, and then and then the tower is Mars energy, and Mars is the ruling planet of, Ener of, of Aries. Um, but this could also be you in taking control over your life and your surroundings and doing something about it, okay? Excellent. First set of current energies here you got. Uh, hold on. I'm picking up more. <laughs> Um, there could have been a tower moment here with between you and uh, someone from your past or a soulmate. Um, I'm just going to throw it out there. It could be a twin flame because temperance is a twin flame card um, in balancing opposing sides, so masculine and feminine. Um, the Six of Cups talks about a deep soulmate relationship or a past life's relationship. And uh, the emperor can symbolize the divine masculine, okay? Just want to throw that out there, but there could be, could have been a situation um, in the past, and maybe you didn't quite get it until we got to Scorpio season, and now, which is here now, which we're in right now. We're going to be in Scorpio season until the end of November. Uh, we go, we, we move into Sagittarius season right before Thanksgiving, like a few days, maybe like five or so days before 444 on the counter. Uh, five or so days before Thanksgiving, but um, Scorpio season really could have brought in a tower moment for you, a realization about something with a soulmate, maybe a twin. Um, so we'll see what happens there. First set of surrounding energies for the first half of your month, you've got the Two of Swords. All right. There's some decisive indecisiveness here. There's still some energies of not quite seeing the truth or maybe even refusing to, to see the truth maybe refusing to communicate um or refusing to take some sort of action make some sort of decision this could be you virgo or it could be another person that you're connecting with two of swords is coupled with oh my goodness a two of wands so yeah there really is a choice that needs to be made here huh but someone just doesn't want to do it i refuse I'm getting, I'm feeling an energy of someone might be throwing a little bit of a tamper tantrum here. Knowing they have to decide on something, knowing they have to choose something, especially in the light of whatever may have blown up in their face here, 555 five, five on the counter, blown up in their face here with the tower. And now someone might be digging their heels in even more with the two of swords and the two of wands because they need to make a decision. But I kind of feel like the decision's already been made for you with the tower. So that could be your someone's indecision here or refusal to, to, to make a decision could have brought on a tower moment, okay? Second set of surrounding energies for the first half of your month. Good Lord, the Seven of Swords. Deception. Mm -hmm. Seven of Swords is coupled with the Queen of Pentacles. So Virgo, this could be you as the Queen of Pentacles here. Um, it could be another Earth sign, Taurus or Capricorn. But this is wifey material here. This is someone that's solid, independent, compassionate, caring, loving, forgiving. But she's very, she can be a hard ass too, just like the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is, and the Queen of Pentacles, I see them as very similar energies because they're both very discerning. It's just that the Queen of Pentacles has more investment in the emotional sector sector than the Queen of Swords does. But I feel like someone was deceived here and it was probably the Queen of Pentacles. Could be you, Virgo. Um, but it's just like secrecy surrounding your involvement with someone or their involvement with you. And that is another energy that is speaking to the indecisiveness here with someone needing to make a decision and ultimately, they didn't make that decision. So then there was a there was a tower moment. You're dealing with a tower moment now because someone was not being upfront and honest. Someone was not making a decision. Okay. The current the challenge for the first half of the month you have the ten of pentacles. 
long-term investment, time and energy put into something, family. Some of you want a family. Some of you, some of you want this Ten of Pentacles situation, the house, the, 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 the car, the kids, the dogs, possibly grandparents living a few doors down or not too far away. Okay? The challenge is achieving this Ten of Pentacles energy. And it does feel like this is pretty challenging. Some of you wanted... Some of you really want this commitment, this 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 Ten of Pentacles situation, but it's just not going the way... It's just not moving. The energies are not moving in that direction, at least with a certain person. So there would be why there's another... Another reason why there's a tower moment. The King... No, I'm sorry. The I want to say the King of Pentacles, but the... Ten of Pentacles is coupled with, ah, yeah, the Ace of Swords. The challenge is being truthful and honest about wanting this situation. Learning the truth about it. So the challenge here is taking the blindfolds off with the Two of Swords and making that decision, uh, maybe even communicating that surrounding the Ten of Pentacles. All right? The potential outcome for the first half of your month, the Three of Wands, waiting for the return on an investment. If you have been investing time and energy into this situation, okay, well now you're waiting for that return on the investment, but is that invest is that return going to come where you thought it was originally, where you may have been investing that energy originally? Now, keep in mind that just because you have invested your energies into a certain situation and now that's not working out in your favor or it's not that the result is not what you had intended. Don't think that that energy is wasted. It's not. The three of wands, the three of wands here in your potential outcome for the first half of the month is saying that to you. That energy has not been in wait, not been wasted. It's still going to go towards your investment. And what is that investment? I really feel like it's the ten of pentacles right now, which is in your challenge position. Okay. The uh, uh, three of wands is coupled with, uh, yeah. The Nine of Wands, persevering towards this. I feel like this came out, did it come out for Leo? You might want to watch the Leo video. Woo! Sorry, guys. But there is a there is an energy of perseverance when it comes to receiving the return on your investment. And this is another way of the universe saying that the energy that you've invested into a certain situation did not go to waste just because it didn't turn out the way you want it or the way you expect it just because you did not get that return on that investment yet, okay? It's almost as if the unit, well, the universe is saying in this situation that energy can be transferred to another situation, all right? And we're more than happy to do it for you, they say. So don't worry. The second half of your month, first set of current energies, you've got, ah, the Hierophant. So, yeah, <laughs> I hear you. This is that Taurus for some of you. But also, for others of you, this is the commitment that you're looking for. The commitment that you or who someone else that you're connecting with is in the position of receiving here with the Queen of Pentacles. All right? The commitment that is in your challenge that you're trying to get to in the Ten of Pentacles. Okay? The Hierophant is coupled with Ooh, the Knight of Wands. So this, okay, see, the universe is saying, see, I told you. I told you your energy was going to be put towards something else. It wasn't wasted because you got someone coming in hot. Could be multiple people. Oh, look at you, Virgo. You love magnet, you. <laughs> the second set of surrounding energies for the first, I'm sorry, the second half of the month you got. The Three of Pentacles. So this is teamwork. This is self-mastery. This is working together with someone or just within yourself to lay the foundation or to rebuild. So this really could be another situation in which your energies have now been transferred over to and now you get to work with someone to build a structure of your desires. Yeah. Three of Pentacles is coupled with... Yeah. The seven of pentacles. See, okay, so the universe just keeps saying your energies did not go to waste. It is going to bring you a return on your harvest. You're going to be able to harvest something here, okay? 
but also um, any entrepreneurial ship, any self mastery that you could be doing right now is focused towards the harvest that you have received recently. All right. Or is focused from the focus, your, the, 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 the focus coming from what you're working towards right now is, has to do a lot to do almost damn near everything to do with what you've invested in the, in the past. There's a lot of earth energy here for you. Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. Makes sense. You're a Virgo. You're an Earth sign. <laughs> Your challenge for the second half of the month. You got the High Priestess. Intuition, psychic ability, uh, the unknown. Facing the unknown. Hi, little birdie. A little bird just landed on my windowsill. Hi, little starling. Oh, little birdie. Sorry. <laughs> the unknown. Okay, facing the unknown, moving forward, not necessarily knowing what's going to happen. But the universe is saying, we've got your back, boo. Okay, your energy has not been wasted, Virgo. Okay. To, uh, oh, I'm sorry, the, the high priestess is coupled. Oh, wait, so look, I want to point out, before I draw this card, you've got the counterparts here in the second half of your month, the hierophant and the high priestess. That's pretty cool. But this, uh, the, the high priestess is coupled with the six of pentacles. Not knowing where this balance of give and take, this balanced relationship is going to come from. Not knowing when it's going to come or how it's going to come. That does feel pretty challenging, Virgo. I'm not going to lie. It does feel pretty challenging. But you have to trust in the universe, okay? Because the universe has your back. And I keep hearing your energy is in escrow. So don't worry about it. Because if it's in escrow, it's just going to build and build and build and build until all of a sudden you get this return on your investment that was just like, whoa, there, Nelly, with the Ten of Pentacles, right? Holy shit. I wasn't expecting that much. Well, you got it. <laughs> your potential outcome for the second half of the month, Virgo, you got Hey now, the fool. Brand new beginning, new start, leap of faith. The fool is coupled with, ah, the queen of swords. Check it out, y'all. The queen of swords has come out in this position for the last three readings I've done. And I'm doing them in order. So that would be, I think that was Leo. No, I'm sorry. It was Cancer, Leo, and now Virgo. Okay, and so some of you, like, I know, I know one person that's a Virgo slash Leo. And I also believe that the uh, Three of Wands and the Nine of Wands came out for the Leo video. So I would recommend that you watch that, you certain individual. You know who you are. <laughs> um, yeah. What I'm going to say here is you're not opposed to a new start with the Queen of Swords and the Fool. You're just being very discerning about it. And I don't blame you. I really don't. Good on you. Okay? Because we're not accepting crumbs around here. So there really is not going to be an energy of, oh, well, I'll just get into this and see if it works. No. If there isn't serious, if there isn't decent enough alignment here from jump, don't expect it to go off the ground, okay? Now, that could be a little bit too harsh, a little too cutting. But at the same time, I get why you're here, all right? Especially given the, the, the fuckery and tomfoolery that was going on in the past. Word. Word, I know that's right. Okay, let's get into your oracle guidance here for the month of November from the a Unicorns. Form of Virgos. Month of November 2018, Virgo. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. All right. Let's see what we've got for you, Virgo. Month of November 2018. Okay, we've got three, because this one flipped over, and then those other two flipped over. Aha. And Okay, underneath the deck, you have strength. Again, 
This could be Leo energy because the strength card in the tarot can be seen as Leo. But strength here says this challenge will make you stronger. You will get through to the other side. Look for the gifts in this situation. And that is absolutely falling right in line with this first card here, hope. Stay positive. The worst is behind you. Look up to the light. And this card is really powerful um, with how this unicorn's mane has been like cut and now it has to regrow. It's almost like you're starting over. And it's so funny because then the next card that you have is prosperity, which says a gift of money is on its way. Your income is increasing. Manage your finances with love. And then look at that unicorn with all that long flowing mane. Oh my God, isn't that just gorgeous? But you see, you see how these two are lining up here? This is a really cool. And no, I don't believe in coincidences. So this obviously means something, right? Excellent. And then the final card that you have here is expansion. Spread your wings and soar. Share your message and shine your light. Show the world what you're made of. Go out, get on out there. Get on out there and show the world what you're made of, honey. I know that's right. <laughs> All right, Virgo, there it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. I'm wishing you guys so much love. Um, I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of December. And I want to wish everyone here in the United States a very, very happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, take care. Bye.